Hi guys, Kelly here, and I have some new Wet n Wild products to review, and some old stuff. So these are the new Mega Last Liquid Cat Suits. Uh, they're the High Shine lipsticks, and I'm not, I don't know if they dry down matte or not. Probably not though. So, um, we're gonna try these. I, they have these new uh, Wet n Wild, they're the translucent, uh, high, they're not trans, this is not translucent, this is a loose highlighting powder, they do have translucent, banana, and a deep colored setting powder, which is the photo focus, which I'm really interested in to see, I've already opened up all this makeup, so that way I wouldn't, it wouldn't take up, you know, you wouldn't see me struggle, because the struggle is real, and then I got, uh, these, um, they're the Cushion Wet n Wild Color Correcting Foundations, Primers, Color Correctors is what they're called. So we're not going to put a lot of makeup on because it's like 4 o'clock in the morning and I don't want to put makeup on. Because then I'm just going to rub it in, all up into my face. So let's start with the lipsticks, which is my favorite part. I need a mirror. There's one right here. So let's look at my beautiful face. I've looked at it and I'm tired of looking at it. So I got two colors. I got Flirt Alert, which is this really pretty pink right here. Let me turn on this light so there's more light over in this section. This thing broke and I don't know how to fix it properly. So it just kind of dangles there. It's a dangler. <laughs> I guess that's good. <laughs> Anyways, so Flirt Alert, which is this really pretty pink color. And then... Uh, this one, which is called uh, Wine is the Answer, which is never the answer. Uh, becoming an alcoholic is not the answer. Uh, let me go ahead and put on. No, I don't. Again, I don't know if these dry down matte or what. I kind of hope they don't because it's kind of. They're not going to dry down matte. What I mean is, I hope they 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 dry down, but they probably won't. Pardon my father and his weird language. If you can't hear him, be lucky. Um, these aren't very pigmented. Or at least this one isn't. So. Mm. So that's this color. It's not too bad. It's actually it's kind of nice. But it's probably not going to dry down. And then I got, uh, like I said, this color, which is uh, the answer. Is it the answer is alcohol or uh, wine is the answer? So I'm just going to swatch that for you on the back of my hand. So this one is a little bit more pigmented because it's a darker color. So, and I'll let you know throughout the, out the video how this lipstick right here goes. I'm going to put them right there. So they also come out with these uh, <clears throat> these primer sticks which I am not a big fan of because of um, different reasons. My cap just my cap just ran off. It has no smell. It has a little foot. I think it has a little smell. It's kind of like the absence of smell. I don't know if you guys know what I mean, but there's like, it's a smell, but it's an absence of smell. You know, you'd have to be a word like me to understand what I mean. How do I work this damn thing? You're just supposed to twist, you're supposed to twist it up or push it down, push it up. I, I don't understand. Like, I'm full on twisting and nothing's happening. Oh, wait, there, eh, there we go. Um... I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. I may put a little bit up here, but I want to feel it on the back of my hand first. It's, I am actually doesn't feel too bad. It just says, um, it's a matte base. It just says it's a primer stick. It doesn't say that it's supposed to, and it's called You're What Matters. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, they also came out with a... 
a makeup removing one. Basically, all of these replaced all of these in my thing. There was something else. Ah. You can't come in here. I forgot that they also have come out with this new 3-in-1 Primer Water, which is a prep, prep, set, and refresh. And this is cucumber. So they also have coconut. Uh, they have kind of, they're coming for the skin game. And this one is called Cool as a Cucumber. I love all their cute little names. There, you got to see me struggle with some packaging. It wasn't that much of a struggle, to be honest. Okay. I can smell the cucumber, though. I hate the smell of cucumbers. It's a nice mist. And it smells like cucumbers. Again, probably... I'm just not a big fan of cucumbers. I don't like the way that they smell. So let's see if this thing does some... Poor blurring, filling action. Now, some of my biggest poor problems are right up here. I'm totally not flipping you off. So, right up here and on my cheeks. Yeah, there's no poor filling action. It doesn't. Uh, maybe a little bit of blurring, but. Yeah, maybe a little bit of blurring, but not like full on. It's ooh. Yeah, no, I don't like the way this smells. The absence of smell has become a smell that I'm not appreciative of. So it's definitely not like professional level, but it does dry down matte because my forehead was shiny here. I mean, it still kind of is, but whatever. <clears throat> um, let's try this stuff. So this is a 3-in-1 primer water, which is a prep, set, and refresh. Basically, you use this to uh, prime your face and then set your face. And then you can refresh it. A lot of companies have these. I've never really tried them. Ugh. Oh, cucumber. That I am not okay with. That smell. I, have, they, I wish they had had the coconut one. I'd rather smell coconut than cucumber. I'd rather smell ass than cucumber, to be honest. There used to be this girl when I was in... Uh, I went to medical assisting school. And... Uh, when I was doing my medical uh, law classes, she would come in and every damn day she would have, a, is it a gyro, a gyro, a gyro, I don't know, but they're those, uh, basically it's a Greek salad and a pita and she would eat it every day and she would have them loaded up with cucumbers and i would smell it every day and i couldn't move because we had assigned seats uh so i do like this as a primer because it's kind of sticky which means that your makeup will stick to it better than this side which is so matte i feel that it's almost a powder and wouldn't and it, you're, and nothing would stick to it so then we do have uh, the color correctors I'm not really going to show you these these aren't new um, they're just they just they didn't sell very well so yeah and it looks like people have already have already gone through it I was just I'm just reviewing it I already have a green one. I might wash that out though. I'm probably gonna wash it out. But uh Yeah, it's just the green or the this one's the purple this one's supposed to combat yellow. I just dropped the whole damn thing. <clears throat> so um, yeah, like, so it's just supposed to, like, combat yellow, and the other one is supposed to, this one's for dark circles, so, 
And I do have yellow sometimes underneath my eye, my eyeballs, because a bitch is tired. But other than that, I don't have. I just bought it because they were they were like four dollars. But yeah, so that one is the purple one. And then it's funny this one actually hasn't been touched. Maybe it has, I don't know. But, and then, yeah, no, this one is actually good. This one's to brighten your your dark circles. So, I'm going to get the pink one too, but I decided to, to not. So, that is that. Now, there is something. Oh, all this crap in my room. I need a Mr. Kate makeover. I need a make a room makeover period. So, see, yeah, this is it's not as sticky as it was, but as it dries down, it gets stickier, or it gets less sticky. So that's good. So the other two things that I'm gonna go through are the highlighting powder and the. Um, so when I opened this, it did not have. A powder puff normal things do I don't know if it just didn't if someone took it out because they are assholes which does happen in this day and age so um, I have my Cody airspun right next to me which right now which is my favorite so you know that I like the way that this smells It feels good. I like it, and it sets it. You know, sets me well. Uh, and you can take. I I take out my the base to get to the good stuff. On uh, I'm supposed to go there. I get. I can take off the base if I need to. Uh, I it was taped down when I got it. So and there was a powder puff in here. But there was no powder puff in here, and I probably get down to the good stuff down here as well. No, maybe, maybe not. I'd have to like really take a look at it. Oh, idiot. <laughs> okay, so there is a slight smell, but not. No, oh, that's that's Cody. Yeah, there's not much smell. Um, and as for the feel of it, it's a little bit rougher in texture, um, but it's actually more expensive. Cody Airspun is like $6, something like that, and this was 7 So, um... I don't know. I mean, I like it better than I like the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the Amazonian clay, but I probably would not reach for this on a normal basis. I would reach for this before I reach for the Maybelline Fit Me, though. And I reach, and I think you get a little bit more in Cody. You get 2.3 ounces in the Cody. And you get a point seven zero, so you do get more in the Cody for less money, and it's more finely spun, and it smells. Although it is overpowering, it does smell. So it's really up to you. So, <clears throat> so some people setting powder, setting powder with me. It's whatever. Uh, we have one last thing. Oh yeah, the highlighting. Okay. So it does come with a little protective thing on it, which I did not think that it would, because I'm an idiot, and now you have to watch me struggle with packaging, because that is my fate in life, is to ruin my freshly painted nails with... This is how freshly painted they are. This side has the polka dots, this side doesn't. I mean, this side technically still hasn't been cleaned up, you can see the nail polish still around my skin. 
Oh my goodness sakes, come on. Did I get that one? No, but I got white nail polish on it. There we go. So this is the, um, this is, what is this called? This one is called, I think it's called You Glow Girl. Why does it not say that on here? It does on the top of it because I'm ingenious. Genius. Okay. That is pretty sparkly, guys. So you can get it like that, and then you... Little goes a long way. You can see how pretty that is. I like more of a frosty glow than I do anything else. So I tend to get the lighter highlights, plus with my... Oh, I need to learn how to use loose <laughs> setting butter. Because this side's glowing. I can land a freaking UFO. Oh. Let's shine that forehead even more. Oh my god. So, definitely, if you've never used this stuff, like, I, I don't use loose highlight. Uh, you would definitely learning curve. But I like it. I mean, there's no smell. I like the highlighting stuff. I think that, that out of most of the stuff, it's, you know, I like it. Including the high shine lipstick, which I didn't think I was going to. Because I like matte dry down lipsticks that, you know, take forever. Uh, these come in a hydrate form, a dewy form, and a makeup removing form. So, oh, God, let's crap off my face. Uh, ugh. So I'm recording this on Valentine's Day, and I just wanted to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day, and I hope you, that you get to spend it with the person that you love, whether you, that is your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your cousin from another country. <clears throat> I hope you get to spend and enjoy your time with them. Don't take them for granted. They may not always be there. And uh, I also did not, I'm not doing a Valentine's Day look. I am not going anywhere this Valentine's Day. I'm staying in, eating pizza, and watching a movie. So. That is what I'm doing on Valentine's Day. But I'll be having a good one because pizza. I am going to put this uh this color on. I'm gonna try it. Not so bad. I'm not a fan of this dark color, but I don't buy the dark colors for me. I buy them for my boyfriend because he likes them on me. So that's what I do. Anyways, guys, I love you so much. Thanks for watching. And uh, Ipsy is coming up next.